So, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when I ask you like who you are, man, and you like, man, multi-platinum producer, mm-hmm. you emphasize that for a reason. Do you think people overlook you or? I don't think it's that. I think it's just I haven't really put myself in, in on the forefront to let people know like, hey, this is Will here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I, like you said, I just got so buried into the work, you know, and I really just, just deep in love with being in the studio. You know what I'm saying? I never really just stood out, you know, got outside of that and really just marketed myself the way I needed to. You know what I'm saying? Because marketing and branding is, like, most important. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, Coca-Cola, like, it's been around forever. You know what I'm saying? Because the way they market and branded the the brand, you know what I mean? So, I think that's what I, I know that's what I need to do for myself. Like, brand brand myself more and market myself more. Get out here and, you know, do interviews and, you know. I f- when did we come to this, though? I feel like at a time... Producers really ain't care about having that face out there. I feel like we see that a lot now. Dude. I don't think it's that. I think it's. I don't think. I don't think it's some. You got some that are introvert. You know they don't really. I don't consider myself that. You know what I mean. I just love working. You know yeah. what I mean. I just. But love. I feel like that's how producers was. Not to cut you off. Mm-hmm. I feel like at a time. I feel like maybe. And again, I, I'm. I'm not that old, but I feel like we was introduced to like the super producer with his face all in the camera, like P Diddy. Maybe oh, yeah. Manny Fresh. Yeah, right? you like, got like he probably one of the first. Yeah, you got Timberland. Timberland was yeah, he was like that. Yeah, he was. They was like the 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 they was like originators, more the of, like, originators yo, I'm of being and yeah, on a like Dr. Type. Dre and all of that. Like okay. you know what I mean? Okay, okay, that makes sense. So like you feel like it's necessary to to get your face out there. Yeah, like yeah, like because it's 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 more opportunities come along with that. Like you got people that want to like give you endorse you. You know, you got all type. Of, you get all type of deals and all type of opportunities. You know, when you brand and market yourself the right way, mm. and you you know, and I'm attached to a lot of big, you know, that I've done like that's still you know moving to this day. You know what I mean? Mm. Like why not? You know, expand business. You know what I mean? Yo, how easy was it coming up in Atlanta, man? Because like being an outsider. Where you from? From Baltimore. So, Ooh. Yeah, from Baltimore. I got family out there. So like we always be like, man, we always got we gotta we gotta come together like Atlanta. And then I come in Atlanta, like that wasn't really the case. Like I got I got some homies from Baltimore. They come down, they they live here, they've been living here for a while. Who? Who um rappers or they rap. What's their name? Um Mo and um the Young Hungry Money Monsters. Mo and um dang, Fat Rod. He from Baltimore. Yeah. Probably don't know him. But it was another guy. If they from got, Baltimore, then I love him. Man. I think he got killed though. Too raw. Yeah. You familiar with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was I was working with him. Um John the Baptist. I heard about him. Yeah, John the Baptist. Like it was a whole little crew they had. Oh, you know they, some, they, they, some real, yeah, yeah. Some real y'all some real yeah. though. Baltimore, so y'all it's some real yeah. in Baltimore. Yeah, it's a lot of real and in y'all and you know what one thing about y'all, Baltimore. Though, not even just make it, you know what I mean? Like switching it, but y'all boss money, y'all like something and respect it. Y'all gonna, yeah. y'all gonna get a proper sure like, love, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we don't be on that fake like industry. That's why I feel like we don't we don't make it in the industry. I feel like it's a, it's a sense of like being too real. Mm-hmm. Right? I feel like um, where I'm from, like I always say, like you'll know if somebody don't fuck with you. Yeah. Right, but a spot like Atlanta, New York, uh, New, um, I don't know, LA. <clears throat> It's like, if I don't fuck with you, I'm going to be around you enough just to get what I can get from you. And it's yeah. not like that in Baltimore. Like, they ain't fuck with you on all and all. No, yeah, and you're going to know it. And another thing I love about Baltimore is like, I guess for me, it's like, you can't really cap on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like, you know be like saying they this and that, they that and all this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. Because like, they're going to tell you. Like, they gonna be, everybody going to be on the internet. They're going to expose you. Like, this nigga, man, this this. I said he this and that. Mm-hmm. So like I love that part too. But yeah. it is what it is. But back to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You coming up in Atlanta, starting your producing career. Like how 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 easy or challenging? Because I don't want it to say easy. Because I, I assume it would be easy. Because there's so many superstars out here. How how man, how was it for well, you to like jump off the porch, so to say? Man, well, it wasn't easy. I ain't gonna say it was easy. It was a lot of it was a lot of ups and downs and you know bumps in the road and shit, like. At the time, it wasn't many of us around, so that was a good thing. Mm. 
I mean, you're messing around like what? Like producers. Like, okay. Like, well, not say producers, but uh, a, a like me, you could come to the house, you you could get a beat, record, you know what I mean? And do all that. Like, Paint the picture for me, though, for the people that don't know. When you say men of us, who was, who was your era, like, You got, producers? like, um... Huh? Oh, shit, man. Thank you, man. Is it gone? Hmm? Thank you. So paint 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 the picture for me. So when you say it wasn't many like us, like yeah, who was the many. era of producers that you came up with? Okay, um, you had uh DJ Plug. You could go to his spot, you could get a beat, record, you had you was it was me, same thing, Mercy, um, pretty much from my side of town. Mm. You know what I mean? That's those were like the only three. Well, yeah, the only three that you could really go to. You know what I mean? So if one or the other wasn't available, you was coming to. You know what I mean? What year was this? It was like ooh, it was like two thousand nine, two thousand ten, two thousand nine, I think. Yeah, like two thousand nine. This is like prime Gucci ever. Man, it's like yeah, right? Jeezy, all that. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like prime. So I'm assuming like. Zaytoven is around. Zaytoven been around. He yeah. been around since what? 2006? Like, oh, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So when you say many of us wasn't around, you saying like <coughs> every all the producers that was around at that time was like superstars, I'm assuming. They well, was already into... up. They was already gone. Zaytoven and all them. Like, to like from my perspective, they was already up through there. You know what I mean? Okay. So it wasn't many, like they were out of reach. Like you couldn't. Like if you didn't had a bread, like you didn't had a money, you you weren't you weren't getting no beat or no type of like what's up from them. You know what I mean? They was already gone. You know what I mean? Lex Luger. Yeah, Lex. Um, I remember Lex Luger. Southside. Mm-hmm. Um, it was probably it. Lex Luger had the game on smash. Yeah, that was around at that time. time. That was at the time because he used to do the mixtapes and everything, right? Yeah. Damn, With that Walker was a time. Ross, yeah, that was a time. All that. Okay, so. When you said you came around because Future was around then too. He was, but he was like, that was, see, I was still in high school. So Future was in a group called The Connect, if, if I'm not mistaken. He was in a group. I don't know if anybody know that, but he was yeah, in a group. I, I'm, yeah. yeah, he was in a group called The Connect. And um, he had some hood, some hood songs going around. You know, the, the skating ring was all on the radio, but I didn't know him at the time. I was in school. Mm -hmm. So about 2009, a year or two after school, I started really getting into it seriously. You know what I mean? So I just got to thinking like one day like, man, it ain't too many motherfuckers out here doing. In my in my side, like in my era, area, I mean, you know, the west side, like it wasn't too many like you could go to and record. Like you had bad at the barbershop, I believe. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't too many out there besides him. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'm going I'm to try to monopolize this. Shit. I'm going to try to do more than just record you. I'm going to make a beat, mix it, all this type of shit. You know what I mean? And get more get more people to come to my spot and the word of mouth spread. 